Hey guys, Wendell Kimbrew here, WendellK.com. This is not one of my songs today. Uh, this is just one I think is a lot of fun. to myself I didn't want you around those pretty faces always made you stand out in a crowd someone picked you from the bunch one glance was all it took now it's much too late for me to take a second look let me hear you now oh baby give me one more chance won't you please let me back in your heart oh darling I was I see you in his arms I want you back, yeah I do now I want you back, ooh ooh baby I want you back, yeah 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 I want you back, now 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 I'm trying to live without your love It's one long sleepless night Let me show you girl That I know wrong from right Every street you walk down Leaves tear stains on the ground Following the girl I didn't even want let me hear you now, oh baby, give me one more chance Won't you please let me back in your heart Oh darling, I was blind to let you go Now since I see you in his arms bum, 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 bum. Since I see you in his arms, I want you back. Yeah, I do now. I want you back. Ooh, ooh, baby. I want you back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want you back. Na, 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 na. Whew. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, so I'm going to give a quick lesson on how to play this. Uh, I did a video of this on YouTube like, I don't know, six or seven years ago. And uh, I think like 30,000 people have watched it and a lot of people asked me to give a, a lesson on it. So uh, first I wanted to see if I could still play it because it's kind of a workout for the left and the right hand and the voice. Um, so that was okay, you know, uh, not perfect, but um, uh, I wanted to give you a quick uh, lesson in how I do it so maybe you can work on this at your your house and uh wow people at um uh, open mic nights with uh your solo performance of i want you back um okay so uh let's see um uh well you start with the what uh i think jack stratton of wolfpeck called the uh the greatest pop melody ever written the bass line um and i'm not doing it exactly the way it is in the recording but uh Here's here here it is. So I've first of all I've got two capos on, uh, one to to give me a root note down here, and then one to give me the ability to play D major chord forms throughout this song. Um, so I'm really playing. It's like I'm playing a D major, um, but technically this is an F sharp. I think the original is in G sharp, but of course Michael sings it an octave higher than me. So I'm an octave and. A whole step lower than Michael sings it in the original um, but if you wanted to do it in the same key as Michael you would slide both capos up two frets uh, and you could you could play it just the same so uh, let's see um, uh, so the bass line you can kind of figure this out by ear hopefully uh, but I'm just open string 
So that's, um, I'm here. Right? Uh, whatever that is, sixth fret. Right? On the first and second string. And I'm just plucking it with my thumb. And then technically, I think what, uh, what the bass player in the song does is he goes, um, right, to get up to that, that next downbeat. But I'm just going, uh, let's see. So I'm kind of shortening the line a little bit just because it's, it's so hard to play. Um, but if you want to work on that and get that down, you can do it, you know. So, but once you get to that B minor, I'm calling out the chords relative to where I'm playing them. B minor, F sharp, G, D. And then you gotta kinda reach behind your capo here to get the, um, uh, whatever that is, an E minor, A, D. All right, so one more time. Let's keep moving. Okay, the right hand is a big part of how to how I play this song. I'm 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 kind of like doing this grab motion. So I'm doing that, and then I'm kind of um, I don't know if you can see see that. I'll turn this way maybe so you can see my fingers a little bit better. The action on the strings, but I'm going. time so throughout the song I'm kind of playing like this is like a snare drum sound when I slap the string you know it gives me kind of a like a, a clap or a tambourine or a snare drum sound um, right that's uh that's kind of the like how I make the rhythm work so let me just run through the chords real quick. Um, I had you to myself, D, didn't want you around, love's pretty, so that's a G, and then B minor, F sharp 7, or F, F sharp minor 7, G, D, E minor, A, D. Um, and then that's the, that's the verse. Da, 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 Chorus. D. Okay, this is like an A over C sharp, but really I'm just kind of playing a D and then walking down. Oh, baby, give me one more. So that's D, D over C sharp. B minor, this is a form of a B minor 7. Me one more. It's like a D over A. Chance G. D over F sharp. E minor. A. Won't you? It's B minor 7. F sharp minor 7. G. D. E minor. A. D. That's the same as the what happened in the verses earlier. So there's really kind of three components to this song. Um, one is the, the, the progression, the, um, the, you know what I'm talking about. And then the, the chorus, um, right? Um, and then the other part is the bridge. So, um, let me kind of skip ahead to that. So, um, won't you please let me back in your heart um i can't remember the lyric right there it's blank i'm blanking but um but at the end of the chorus oh yeah now since i see you in his arms right and that kind of transitions into the the bridge and here's here's what i'm doing on the bridge um um i'm getting getting a little out of tune here but Yeah, so I'm playing like a D major seven, and I'm going, I'm doing a pull off here on the like eighth fret, I think that is. Um, 
Um, no, actually, yeah, it's a D major. So D major with this pull off. Yeah, so, okay, D major, D major seven, and then, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to actually figure out what I play there. It's all muscle memory at this point. Yeah. So I'm going D with a pull off, D major seven, and then this is like a, it's just all open strings except for the D. Um, and then hammering back on to the D chord, so. And the whole time I'm picking that, I'm just letting this thumb keep that D string ringing, right? Um, and then to kind of build the energy there, I'm going from finger picking it to bringing this this low D back in right and I'm just using my the backs of my fingernails to kind of strum it out a little bit um, of course it comes out of that um, out of that kind of repetition bridge into back into the chorus. So, uh, yeah, there you go. I, I mean, I, um, I hope that's enough to kind of get you going on this and uh, give you a chance to mess around with it, make it your own. Um, guys, this is not what I typically do. I do hymns, old hymns, and, um, and some of my own songs that are uh, psalms, and um, songs for worship, uh, and I do tutorials on them. If you like uh, what I'm doing, then then subscribe, stick around, and um, and keep in touch. Otherwise, have fun playing the Jackson Five, and uh, I'll see you next time.